Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to do another fun physics simulation. I need you to get into MT Tools and I need you to double click on blank. When you launch blank, you notice it always comes up at the 1 meter mark. I want you to scroll out so it shows you the 10 meter mark. You may have to go full screen to make that happen. Once you get to 10 meter, uh, leave it like that. It'll be nice and spread out. And we are going to create a crazy cannon. Uh, you can later add things to shoot at it with, but here's what I want you to do. Draw one stick. I want you to click on that stick and choose clone. Bring them so they're close to each other. Grab one of the sticks with the right click button. Notice when you move farther away, it lets you do little millimeters amount or little chunks apart. I actually think it's inches and feet, but it said meters, so it should be millimeters. And get the ends so they're connected. I want you to put a hinge. Notice I'm scrolling out so that the hinge is kind of large, making sure it does connect to the green. And then I want you to click 1x to hold the bottom in, in place. We're going to draw another stick. Uh, you can make it uh, as big as you want. Uh, if it pops up here, that is nice because it holds your projectile in place. Uh, we are going to lock this little dude like this with an x and an x. Remember, if you get a blue X, you need to delete those. That wrecks the whole thing. And we're going to give that little fella a destroy key. I'm going to use the letter F for fire. Uh, let me make sure I hit that correctly because I was looking at two things at once. Uh, yeah, destroy key is F. And then we are going to use a spring. When you first draw this spring and let go, if you go to the springs uh, settings, it strengthens... 2.25, I'm going to make it all the way up to 1. But the important thing is its target length. Right now it's at rest, which is 1.83. If I change that to like 6, all of a sudden it really wants to launch. It can't though because we've got this destroy key button in place. I'm going to do a brush, multi-draw, and I'm going to make it so it looks a little bit even fancier. And I think I'm going to try and add one up here too. All right, so now I've got my place for the projectile to sit, and I'm going to put in my projectile. What if it was multiple projectiles? If that critter built, press the letter F and watch it launch. This is where life is extremely cool. You can track the projectiles, remember, by uh, clicking on. Oops, don't want to do that. First, you've got to remember to do undo. If you want to track a projectile, you can click on it and do selection, follow with camera. Uh, if you want to add the tower, I'm going to tell you that the tower comes in pretty small. Make sure you pause the world and do uh, click the blue, import, funlet, bring in the wall starter. Move it up so it's not on the ground. Let it settle and then see how small it is. You want to use the scale tool to make that quite a bit larger. And then you can move it over and uh, use clone to add a bunch of them to try and knock it down. I'm going to make sure the world's paused as I build again. And like I've shown you many times, clone, stack, and have fun. Remember, if it's falling apart, like mine's a little bit wiggly, you can always draw a large box and a large box. Fixate one, grab the other with the hand, and just gently push it so it's together. And then pause and go on and keep building. So there you go. Have fun. See what kind of awesome things you can make. Uh, if you make something incredible, please take time to share it on Twitter, uh, the internet screenshots. Uh, comment, follow, and subscribe. Yeah.